Hey, I guess we're doing some Mazda here today at the Charlotte Roval because I like this car and I like this track and I tried doing some more Talladega because that's where everything's at right now and I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I just, I hate it so much. I didn't even get wrecked, but it was just awful and boring and not racing. So, here, hopefully, we'll have a fun race in the Mazda instead. Um, I said it in the last recording at Talladega Cup race. I did. But now that it's gone, I have to say it again. Um, I'm super busy this week. Uh, working like almost every day. A lot. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do too much racing, unfortunately. And so this will probably be coming out, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, in, uh, in place of something else. So it's unfortunately last week's races that's probably less interesting for people because they want to see, like, oh, how are the tracks racing this week? What's good this week? But uh, we got... Mazda at the rolling instead, so. Hopefully it's still a good race and fun to watch. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Doing qualifying here. Ooh, almost got too close to that inside wall. Tires are still cold, so unfortunately, uh, not turning as well as I would like right now. Might not be as fast this lap, so we'll go for it anyway. I gotta be careful on cold tires on this corner, it does like to snap on you, even with the rookie setup. So, gotta be careful with that. We're the number four in here today, so that's cool, not the number one. Usually there's a ton of participation in the rookie Mazdas though, so it's usually not a, an issue. Even if my uh, road eye rating's getting up there a little bit now. It's in the 3000s, I believe. So I'm starting to get that same trouble I have on the ovals where Sometimes I get stuck as the number one a lot. Like the uh, the USF 2000 race, that was a really low strength of field, and I'm not great at that hard track combo. So finishing in the top five makes me lose a bunch of eye rating, unfortunately. It's kind of crazy. P2, that lap was a 133.18. Hopefully I'm a little better here than I was in that race. 133.1 was my first lap. No, I can do better than that. Thirty-one is where the leader is. Mm, a little shallow there. Didn't really take that how I wanted to. There's some people that are like super duper fast here. I mean, that's kind of the case with every track. But some people seem to like really, really have this place figured out. Uh, I lose my most time through this sector. I just do it wrong every time, pretty much, so. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I uh, shifted too late, I think. I'm really bad at that one, I just don't have it figured out, for whatever reason. But still about uh, two and a half tenths up this lap, so that's cool. And that'll get us into the 132s, so that's cool. Right. Still about a second behind the fastest guy, but... Oh well. Pretty darn close to the number two there. Wow. 
very close on speed. I don't see that as, as often with uh, road racing, it feels like. So, I think top five would be a very nice finish here as the number four. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm looking at the standings, watching us fall down. Thank you. See, that like that number eight, like he's the number eight, but he has a crazy good lap. Some people just really get this track. Really speaks to them. And come down here and like, initially it looks like, oh man, I'm getting a lot of speed uh, by cutting the course a little bit. But then you get up uh, on here and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't have the banking though. Look at all this momentum I lost. I need to figure out that corner. I don't know. I'm just doing something completely wrong with it. I don't know. I wish I could just like try it and then teleport back in front of it again and just do it over and over and over again. I wish they had like a function like that, like a checkpoint system or something, and just to, like only in private practice or something. That'd be interesting. Hopefully it'll be a fun race. I just, I really needed to do something that actually required user input after just oh, so bad. <laughs> the next gen at Talladega. God, I was just like, just wanting to bash my head into the wall. And that requires a little bit of user input, at least, here. And hopefully we're starting soon. Said we had about 40 seconds left. The one and the six. So we were waiting on. I guess the one just now did their lap, I don't know. Maybe they're still doing the second lap right now. And the 6 just doesn't want to hit the blue button or something, I guess. Maybe they got an off-track both laps. I don't know. Not a big deal, we just got like 10 seconds left anyway. So, uh, only a few people with a decent ping in this one. Us in the 2 car, who's got very similar speed, apparently. Actually, no, they ended up with a better lap. That's the end of the session, so. P5. I'm actually pretty mid-middle pack here in the top split. Might be struggling to keep up. I have to do session best lap because my all-time best was set, uh, I want to say, in the production car challenge with the Mazda, and that was open setup, and so that setup was much faster than this default rookie setup. And so you just can't compete with it. So all I would be seeing every lap with the all-time best would be lots of red. So I'm trying to do a uh, session best and just constantly trying to improve on that. That'll uh, be something to actually try to push for. I think it's uh, it really helps me to have something like that to push toward. Helps me hit my marks a little bit and uh, know how hard I should be pushing, that kind of thing. It's probably all just in my head, but uh, yeah, that's valid, right? Oh shoot, someone just uh, dropped out. That stinks. Be ready, we're about to go green. Green, green, green flag, green flag. Alright. Got ten left to go. The herd of turtles is off. I think we got someone on our outside at all. File in. Remember to be cautious here on the first lap, because the tires, uh, even though we're in the rookie car, it still can get slippy on these gold tires, so just be careful. Just for about a lap or so, and then it's usually pretty good after that. Thank you, dude. Especially right here. This is a scary part. Go and check out the front on the car, dude. Come off and re All right, I'm not gonna be trying to pass with the draft or anything right now. No reason for it, so just follow along. 
I actually did my normal, uh... My normal rookie monster race earlier in the week, and it's too bad I didn't uh, record that one, because I was in a very similar position as I am right now, about fifth. Actually, I think it was exactly fifth. And right there, at that chicane, the first four cars all crashed each other in front of me. It was crazy. I actually posted it on my Twitter, a little video of it. <laughs> it was wild. But I ended up winning that race. It's my, it was my highest uh, strength of field road race I ever won. And it's because all those really fast guys crashed each other out on the first lap. It was actually just one guy that caused a chain reaction that killed all of them, and I managed to get by it. It was crazy. But uh, that did not happen this time. Not on the first lap. Well, we still got time if you guys want to do it in front of me. <laughs> I'm already having much more fun than I was at the, the Super Speedway, though, so... Even if we get crashed out, at least I got to do some actual racing tonight. Hmm. A little bit off uh, there. Alright, and we're able to keep up because of draft. It's good. Hopefully pull away from the guy behind us and have a nearly guaranteed top five so long as we don't crash ourselves. Oh, he's going to pass in front of us and killing the man. That man right has there. been killified. The first chicane, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't look too dissimilar. I mean, to what I saw before. He went for the pass and just killed the, killed the man. Does he have damage? Is the question. Does he have to come pit? Doesn't have to come pit. Crashes himself there. You're in fourth position. Clear. Come on, A little aggressive there, but he did just crash the guy in front of him. So I'd love to hear him talk about aggression. <laughs> Will we be able to catch up to those two guys in front of us? That's questionable, but we will try. Hmm. It's going to be in our draft, though. He's going to do the same thing to me now. Is he just an assassin out to kill people the same way, repeatedly? About to find out. Actually, hit that corner halfway decent for once. Wait, is that the guy that... Now I'm confused. Is that the guy behind? I don't know what's going on. The car ahead has just done a 131.64. You're now in third. Three. Sectors 1 and 3 are 0 0.5 off the pace. Maybe the Sectors guy behind isn't the guy that killed him. Maybe I got him mixed up or something. I don't know. I need. I don't need to be worrying about that right now. Oh, they killed each other or something. Behind us. <laughs> They're gone. So much for that, don't have to worry about them anymore. Well, number one apparently caused it. He was number one. And I'm starting to hit my marks now, they don't have to think about other people. That's typically how road racing goes for me. As long as I don't have to worry about other people on the track, I can race just fine. Typically isn't a very good thing. Because, uh,. Well, usually when you're in a race, you're not by yourself, so. It's kind of this thing you gotta do called passing once in a while, I don't know. Ooh, yee. That was awful. Kind of got unsettled during downshifting and ruined the whole chicane for me. I'm just really bad. That's like my one big weak point at this track. 
that I consistently mess up. That's gonna hurt me. Probably every lap. The leader has just done a 131.54. That's your best lap in the session. Yeah, those two guys ahead of me are faster than I am, for sure. So I don't know if I'm going to be catching them. But I'll put in my best laps. You never know, maybe they'll go off one corner and that'll be just enough for me to catch up to them. Even if it's just enough to uh, catch up to their draft. Then maybe I could take advantage. I shouldn't have, but I stayed in it there, even though I felt like I was getting close to the wall. I'm like, surely it won't be a problem, right? That was really dumb. There was no reason to even do that, but I just did it anyway. Um, I'm out here to sabotage myself, I guess. It's the best I've taken that chicane all, uh, or compared to my best... Session best, I guess. I should do session optimal, is what I should be doing. Session optimal, yeah. So that's not the best I've done at this race, but better than my best lap. Ow, off track. Okay, Colton. Let's cut it a tiny bit too much there. Lame. At least I didn't damage myself getting into the wall like that. I wonder if I knocked my mirror off. Oh no, my mirror. Whatever am I gonna do? It's pretty much just holding even with me behind. For the most part, it looks like. to not hit the wall that time. Those guys I had are real fast. I mean, we saw the qualifying times. So it's no wonder that they're pulling away. There we go. A little better there. I really just gotta work on that chicane. That's why I still like to run these rookie races, because there's always something you can be better at. Ooh. Like not spinning out out of the final corner. That's something to be better at. Nothing too exciting happening right now, unfortunately. Just uh, trying to keep it together, get ourselves our podium. Hey, maybe they'll wreck each other in front of in front of us. They are really close now. The key to doing that corner better, maybe, is I need to be taking a wider entrance. I think I might be able to hit that a little bit better if I uh, do that a little bit more. I do have to uh, keep it together here, though, because I don't want to... Oops, overdrove that. I don't want this guy to catch up and get into my draft, because then he's going to be able to catch up to me. Okay. 
So even though he's uh, 2.4 back or so at the moment, I've got to prevent him from getting much closer. Or else he's going to start uh, reeling me in faster. So, oh, I mean, there's a non-zero chance those two guys in front of us wreck each other. And I'm going to be the one that capitalizes from it, if so, so... Awful. I'm just still trying to figure out how to do that right. That's, that wasn't it. <laughs> Every lap, it's a little bit of chunk of time. I lose to to just about to everybody by doing that poorly. Such a fine line right there, uh, whether you get the off track. Like, that felt like the same amount of cutting I did, cutting quote-unquote, as when I got the off track. Like, that's the fast way to do it. But you can't cut much more than that. Oh, I went wide. Gross. Am I trying to give up third? Is that what's happening? Why would I do that? at the wall again. I'm falling apart, man. That's my problem. Apparently I do want to give up the podium. Turn, darn car. God. I stink. And second place has crashed. Second chicane. Yellow flag. Car stopped ahead. You got a slow car on the left. Second here. You're in second position right now. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Get out of the way. Good lord. Clear on the right. Yeah, let me just park my broken car on the apex. Don't worry about me. Unfortunately, they didn't wreck each other. But the guy in second, I assume, wrecked, pushing really hard, trying to uh, catch the guy or keep up with him. Now we might lose second because we got held up by the... Uh, lap car, but also because I've decided to throw everything away. Okay, Colton, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. So is he going to crash us into the final chicane here? What's, what's his plan? We're going to find out. Right side. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Clear. <laughs> oh. Well. He dove it in. On the podium. So, thank you, lap car. Chicken flag, chicken flag. For causing that. Nice run. Solid Can't really fault him for that. I mean, it's just how this track is. It's uh, partly my fault anyway, messing up. But 
Guy in his broken car. Hey, it did knock off my mirror. I mean, it's just really hard to defend that from the outside there. He was never going to give me any room, it looks like. Like, even if I hit a better line or something and I come through here, like, he was just going to shove me. Like, he, he never gave me a chance. But, wouldn't have been a problem if this guy was just, like, what are you doing? Are you going to do the whole lap broken? Pull over. Get out of the way. Like, just come over here and, like, cut across or something. Why are you in people's way? Like, it's absurd how much time we lost because of this guy. I'm gonna park it because I am. Like, stupid. Alright. Then draft. Everything's. Every type of racing is worse because of draft. But, anyway, we'll see the uh, incidents. I'm stuck complaining. Still in a bad mood after the super speedway, I guess. Bit of a mess here. At least we aren't caught in something like this. Here's a guy that eventually comes passes us. He lost his mirror too. Did the same thing we did. It. Ooh, that blew up pretty good there. Sometimes the tires just don't grip well enough. Here's the guy getting taken out. The guy just drives into him. Uh, okay, it was the one car. Okay. Takes some out, like... He just drives into him. I mean, it's kind of net code, I guess. But he, he really just kind of turns up and gets him. The car kind of wants to pull to the right when you're on the brakes. Probably what happened there. Just kills the guy. Yeah, there's the car pulling to the right, like I was talking about. Wants to do that, like, specifically there, it feels like. Always seems to be a problem. This guy's getting the wall a lot. He still beat us. It's the leader ramping off of the, uh... Curbs or whatever. Code there. So the one wrecks someone else and then uh, causes damage to this guy who still beats us. I guess he deserved the spot. It's clearly he must be faster if he's enduring all this and still beat us. Who cares where he's breaking? See, it's really fast. Man, he really hits those ramps. He's like optimizing the course so much that he's like net coating his mirror off a whole bunch of times because he's just getting every inch of the track. He's really got this place optimized. Here's me hitting the wall. See, watch. <laughs> you watch me like down here. I just stay in it because I'm like, ah, I'm probably gonna hit the wall, but I just. Uh, I don't feel like lifting. <laughs> I just, I don't know why, I just felt like, I, I don't know, lazy. <laughs> I didn't feel like lifting. There's no good reason for it. I knew I was going to go hit the wall and I'm just like, ugh, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> so the one was not perfect, but they were sure were fast. Right, breaking. Ten wall hit, I'm sure. Ten wall hit. Where did uh, I do on incidents anyway? Two? That's not bad at all. 
everyone got incidents except for the 11. That's a good race for the 11 then. Gets fourth and no incidents. Speaking of, here he is. He did not get any incidents for that wall hit. Looks a lot like mom. It's gonna split. No, he didn't. Almost. Did you just get near the wall again? Ooh. Cut it a little bit too much there. Bounced themselves off track. Even the leader did it. Everybody's doing it at least once. Guy does a, a similar thing there as they did earlier already. Oof, lots of wall hits on the right side today. More wall hits. Ooh, Leader almost spun himself out. He really didn't even need to be pushing this hard at this point. He was plenty far ahead, but probably doesn't have an off switch. <laughs> He's probably just go, go, go. I get. Or hold on, this guy. Oh, that's right. This guy was right behind him, but he crashed. I forgot about that. So yeah, he does need to be pushing hard. He was pursuing him good, and then this is what happens, I guess. Oh, no. So this is essentially what happened to me. Getting stuck in the left side here. And it's just real hard to do that. And then this lap car just does not recognize what's going to happen, which you kind of just have to know. You have to ex have the experience to know what this is going to end up looking like. You have to know that this guy's going to be real slow through here because you just can't really go side by side through this. So he's just not ready for him to be there. And I think as a lap car, you really ought to be giving a lot's and lots of room to the people that are fighting for the lead. So that's pretty frustrating for the two, but... Yeah, that stinks. That's how we almost got second for a similar thing happened to us. It's just I spun out instead of getting, getting KO'd by the lap car. And uh, that's it. Didn't even show my spin out, so... All right, we uh, still got podium, even though we lost uh, lost a spot to this guy because of some sloppy laps followed by the lap car being in the way. And then once uh, he was close enough, he had the draft, and then it was uh, well. There's not too much I can do from there. So, all right, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Not uh, anything too unique here, just a Mazda Roval, Charlotte Roval. But uh, hopefully it was en enjoyable to watch anyway. I had some fun. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you later.